Hey everyone, it's May 19th, 20 minutes north of Flagler Beach at one of my favorite beaches here. And actually yesterday was a year I've been in Florida, which is amazing to me. Um, time's flying. Pardon, pardon me, it's very warm out. And I even took a dip in the ocean to cool off before this, but <laughs> it's still hot. So, um, I have no idea how I look, it's too bright. To, and you know what, this is one of the messages, is that we're caring so much less about how we look and, and materialism and things like that, and a whole lot more about how we feel and um, the real, you know, not the synthetic. We're moving away from that. And actually, funny how lockdown helped us in that way. That was a benefit of lockdown. Not many benefits. That was one of them, though. Um, so, I just want to start out saying that nothing is more important right now than connecting with God. Nothing. Because the darkness is trying to take us away from God. The darkness, and I'm going to do this a lot, are pushing their onto us in so many ways. This is all planned. The in our arms, the up our noses. These, please stop. Please stop especially for the children. There is so much proof out there. Just please, I pray every day. Connecting with God is our way through these times. We've all been, as a collective, have been disconnected. And this is making us connect with God. Otherwise, we're going with the agenda, which is the opposite. And we may not realize it. We may be good people, but we're just in so much fear because we're watching mainstream and believing it the Mockingbird media. So we need to seek truth and, and alternative news isn't always the answer either because it's infiltrated, of course. When, whenever there's light, there's gonna be darkness trying to distort and, and manipulate. That's what the darkness does. They deceive and it's happening. And it might be through people unknowingly, they may truly believe what they're getting or through people they trust but you know we really need to discern discern me discern everyone you are your own guru you have the answers but we you know we've been trained to look outside of ourselves instead of as Archangel Michael has said a million times to go to your heart for the answers they're there so it's connecting to who we are, our souls, our God, that will get us through. And staying high vibe. Sorry. <laughs> and staying as high vibe as possible through these times. It's like one step in 5D and the other step in 3D. I had an amazing dream just... Um, see just a few nights ago and I was flying in it and whenever I have flying dreams which are my favorite um, you know I'm, it's just me you know flying over rolling hills nature but this one was different this one was um, I knew people very well that were in the dream and I just was defying gravity and saying oh my gosh it's happening you know <laughs> I was so excited and then this one 
a dark person was just putting me down and trying to bring my vibe down and saying, oh, you don't have the power or whatever. And then I came down, I, I lost the power. So I was so upset that I, I, I woke out of my sleep and realized, oh, that was a dream. It was so real to me. And then the irony was after a while, I went back to sleep and went back to that dream, which very, very rarely happens to me. So I knew that, you know, that there was something very special about this. Our Archangel Michael's given us many previews of what is ahead, and that is one of them. As he says, keep your eyes on the prize, because we're going through really, really difficult times in this spiritual warfare of light versus dark of God versus the opposite. And that's why we must connect to God in every way possible, be in nature as much as possible. Garner the power of nature. You know, I was in the water just before trying to cool off <laughs> and just feeling the power of those waves, like it just invigorated me. It, it did raise my vibration. And whether it's mountains, the forest, going by any body of water, just by plants, animals, it's all so beautiful. We are all so blessed and gifted, and we need to focus on that as we wade through these times. But we must seek truth. Truth can save our lives. It can save our lives. Now, I, you know, here I'm a very overweight person, and but I had no fear of the virus. I. Before it even happened, before lockdown, when I was in Hawaii, it was either late February or, or early March, and I said um, in a video on YouTube, uh, don't fear it, don't fear it, please. Like we've been through this before, They're, it's the same uh, playbook, but who would have thought it would have, this would have happened? And then what, what really occurred? Less people die during the than died the year before. If you look at the facts, you'll know it, but you won't know it from watching mainstream news. We have to turn it off. I haven't had a TV for years, and it's the best decision I ever made. We are being programmed, 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 and part of that programming, a big, big, big part, is fear. So we fear what we don't know and we then we we get so caught up in it we're not able to seek truth we just follow along uh, you know I didn't have fear of it I never honest to God never once feared it I took preventatives known preventatives natural supplements things that have been around for decades and I never got it all this time. And I'm not saying that people that did were in fear, absolutely not. I'm just telling you my story. I'm very overweight. I, you know, people would say, oh, you're gonna get it, you know. <laughs> I never got it. And if I did and I do, I'll deal with it. I mean, honestly, I, I don't have any fear of death. It's like, I know where I'm headed. I don't wanna leave. Let me be clear, I don't wanna leave. I wanna be here to help usher in the new earth. But if I go, I'll help from that perspective. <laughs> it's like I know where we're headed, and it's nothing to fear. So truth can save your life. Um, I do recommend, I, I follow many, I follow many, and with their sermons. Um, but listen to everyone that resonates. This is one that I follow every day because they truly seek truth and they are truly saving lives doing it. It's unbelievable what they're doing through this media channel. So you don't have to agree 100% with everything that, you know, their beliefs or whatever, but look at what they are, look at what the truth they are seeking and they are saving lives. Seek truth. We, if, you, if you don't seek the truth, you're going to be in fear. Truth is the way. 
And that's, you know, Archangel Michael. I didn't want to see the evil darkness. I didn't want to know what this was all about. But, you know, in 2017, he sent me to Canada to, uh, when I started this mission with him, to carry the sword, raise the sword with Archangel Michael while in a state of love. We have warriors around the world who raise the sword at the same time. We've been doing this three times a week for over four years, raising light on various issues to transmute the darkness into light. Way. You know that when something impossible and the negative is happening, darkness is influencing. The darkness is after light workers. They want to bring our light down so we don't move into our new earth. We don't raise our vibrations to move into our new earth. And that's why we must, 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 in addition to seeking truth and spreading truth, to hopefully save as many people as possible, that we keep up our vibrations as high as possible. Obviously getting out in nature to get into those real thrills, not the synthetic, to stay away from our phones as much as possible. Those uh, codes, you know, avoid them. I avoid them at every possibility. Don't like those, they want to move us into a being like computers so being as natural seeking the natural the real seeking god trusting god calling on god is everything we are going to be we are moving into something unlike anything we've ever known in an, any of our earthly lives the new earth everything archangel michael said is coming true but we're in battle now so we have one step in 3D and the other in 5D, and we're navigating through this. Um, we're navigating through these times. And uh, so it's a balancing act in my view. This is my opinion. Discern everything, discern what I say. This, these are things that I feel very strongly to share and, and in some ways I'm repeating, you know, but we need to heal as much as we can I've had many events, uh, forgiveness and gazing events. If I have enough interest, I'll, I'll do another one uh, through Zoom. But we need to uh, clear out what no longer serves serve us, what we're not taking with us into our new earth. And, and we get there by following our heart, our souls that are leading us. Getting back to fear. Uh, you know, what are we fearing most right now? Hopefully not the plan. They're going to keep coming up with new ones until we all wake up and say, okay, enough's enough. And many of us are, but we need to reach that tipping point. And we need to get in all the good people, like uh, who's running, that woman running for governor of Georgia. I'll send you something if you want to see it. She's amazing. And they're acting like she hardly has any, she's got a huge following, but she, news manipulates everything and they'll try to manipulate the elections i pray every day for her and other wonderful people that are running now that never saw themselves running but they're working to save this country so we're you know many are fearing the food shortage that is a creative it's creative there's so much proof once again so one of the ways i face that is by being well prepared over time, no panic, just being prepared. And honestly, like I, you know, thought, well, what if we do go so long without food? I've been fasting. For the most part, I truly wasn't even hungry, you know? And um, so if we can do that, and then we get used to like being okay, So 
facing the fears and then we don't have them. We can live with more peace inside. So there are exciting times after we get through bringing down this darkness. We know that God wins. We have to get through this together. And it really helps to pray for yourself, pray for the people you love, pray for the people you don't know. I just pray for everyone to just stop taking these and to, and, and to realize that they're just following the agenda without realizing it, this darkness. We have to stop falling in line for everyone's sake. So many light workers are targeted and under attack. And I've met many who have been through, you know, rough relationships um, where, you know, they're empaths and they're taken over by entities and things like that. And they've come to the other side of it because they, they were able to finally see and they call on God and pray on it or have people working with them to remove that dark energy and they get their lives back and they can move further into the light than ever before. We have to be very careful of not following, you know, following the crowd and that includes in the truth or light work community. I am blown away by the people so caught up and fawning over I have an open mind and I'm always looking at it to see is there something I'm missing and if you want to see something that will really make you consider what this is really about we have to stop fawning over and, and building up people that may be of great darkness. The proof's in the pudding. Please look into it. I, like I say, though, I, I always keep my mind open, but uh, boy. <laughs> you are the royalty. Put yourself up on the pedestal. I'm wearing my queen shirt because, you know, I wear this and people always compliment me. Oh, I love that queen. And I'm like, you're the queen and you're the king. And this is why I wear it to remind you of the royalty that you are because, you know, we've all been done down. We've been, you know, take, you know, look at what they've done with these things. I mean, it's all a plan to do the opposite of what we're really headed. We're all on pedestals, as Archangel Michael would say, and has come across that way through channels you are royalty so so step into it step into your sovereignty step into your sovereignty that commercial with a very very famous singer when she, it was a commercial with showing genderless babies and it was very very dark and that's when i said this is probably six eight years ago and that's when i said oh my gosh they're not even hiding it now honestly my whole life only one person in my whole life has actually said anything about that that religion and sure enough since around 2017, I hear of all these clubs, those clubs, after school clubs for children. I know of one where a school, they tried to get a Christian after school club was not approved, but yet one of these was approved. Not only that, but they sent, and I saw the permission slip, they sent this permission slip to all the parents to give permission for their children to be in this happy club that's so wonderful. Unbelievable. Like, we have to wake up, and so many parents are fighting this. 
but we can't we have to spread more awareness what is going on especially in the schools the indoctrination is out of control i mean unless it's some special school homeschool is the way now it is the way it's so so upsetting and it's so hard to face the evil i know it's so hard to face the truth but it's the only way and you know we have to do things with a certain level of detachment so that we can say high vibe you know and just know that we're going through this process we were destined for this we were, we are here for this we are here to help the earth shift this is temporary this too shall pass how many times do I say that to myself? And it's always when I just can't take another day, then something happens. And like, perfect example, this impossible situation that's been going on for three and a half years. So I was, the, the really bad part. So I was in the car at night and I was crying like really, really hard. And I said, God out loud, I said, God, I can't take this anymore. And I was just really, really upset. I just can't do this anymore. It's way too hard on my heart. It's just breaking me up. And I swear you guys, and I'll show it to you in this video. Right when I get to the, I'm crying and I get to the light, it's, it's night out. I, I think it was raining. And this is the license plate in front of me. Trust God. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that moment, the power of God. Put the plate at the, the key time. And that's that's what they that's what God does and that's what our angels do well we think we can't take another day and then something happens and it's like the jubilation that I felt I went from just the depths of despair to oh my god God I love you I love you